Pixelmon is a super big mod pack that everyone likes to go ahead and play, but it seems like there's so many different Pixelmon servers out there and they can't decide which ones to play with their friends. But honestly, I finally found the best Pixelmon server and I wanted to go ahead and share it with you guys. Gyms Elite 4 Custom Biomes and Fusion Pokemon make this a unique experience for Minecraft. Watch the videos to the very end, trust me, this Pixelmon server will shock you. Hello YouTube, welcome back to yet again another video, and today I'm going to be going over the best Pixelmon server for Minecraft Java Edition. So we actually do have a brand new Bedrock Edition Pixelmon server out, but this is going to be actually talking about Java Edition, because I get a lot of questions about Java Edition, how can I get the mod, but let's go to jump right into it. So you want to head over to the link down in the description below, it's going to be getpixelmon.io, then you want to scroll down, it pretty much gives you all the steps, but you want to go ahead and install this installer right here. Next, you want to go ahead and open it. It's going to ask you to sign into your Microsoft account, which I'm pretty sure I have done already. So let's go ahead and do that. So just got to go ahead and click on it and it's super easy. And it's going to go ahead and log you into your Minecraft account just like that. If you want to go ahead and increase the RAM, click on settings. Then you want to go to Java and go over to this slider and you can actually raise it to the appropriate amount. Me personally, I like having it 8 gigabytes plus. I feel like Pixelmon really does need it. Next, you want to go ahead and click on play. You guys can also join the Discord as well. But this may actually take a while. For me personally, I had to keep installing it over and over again. It does have a little bit of issues, but just be persistent. I even had to restart my whole computer just to go ahead and get this. I do believe this is the best way to get Pixelmon and as you can see it is loading up right now. I'm also going to leave the server IP down in the description below so you guys can go ahead and join it. I understand if you guys want to go ahead and use your own installation of Pixelmon, no problem, but you want to go ahead and click on play and it's going to directly connect you to the server. Also, I do want to mention that you can't have a VPN on while trying to connect. So as you can see now it's working. But for me, at first, it didn't work, and I was so confused, so I had to go ahead and talk to the owner. And I do want to state that this video is sponsored, but I wouldn't promote anything that I didn't really believe in. And I think it's actually really one of the best Pixelmon servers. So click on this compass, and you guys are going to go ahead and see that there is a bunch of different things to go ahead and do. I've been playing on Ruby. I already got myself a Charizard, and I think that's actually pretty cool. And I also do have the fly perms, so we can go ahead and do a lot of things. So let's go ahead and do warp spawn. So typing in the word slash spawn will bring you guys back to spawn. And right here is going to be a random shiny. So I do want a random shiny. I'm not going to lie. So you just click on him and it is going to give you a random shiny. So here's my team right now. Honestly, it's not really too balanced. I have a shiny Charizard, which is pretty cool. You do get a free shiny as you hop on the server. Heading over to here, you guys can actually find that I do have this Staryu, which is actually pretty cool as well. And I have some other Pokemon, which aren't really that cool, but we do have it. So get back here, Ekans. And that is pretty much it for the team. There's also a random TP. There's biome TP as well. A lot of different TPs that you can go ahead and do. But talking about spawn, I'm going to go ahead and use slash fly. This is not a perm that you guys have, but I have it for showcase purposes. Typing in slash warp heal will bring you here to the Poke Center. You guys can go ahead and heal your Pokemon just by clicking on this healer just like that. You can't move until they are actually healed, but just like that it has that cool animation and it is pretty much done and your Pokemon are healed just like that. So once that is done, you guys can also go to your PC right here, which does allow you to store any Pokemon that you have over six. So if you have any more Pokemon than six, then you can store them there. There. And I do believe you can also trade with people as well. Heading over here, you can find a bunch of different crates. There's cosmetics. There's so many things to go over. This is actually pretty. Oh, I kind of want one of these. That looks really, really cool. I think that's a really interesting Pokemon. So, oh, that's actually cool. So, they have custom skins on the server. So, you can get like these cosmetic exclusives. These are actually some really, really nice things. Right here is going to be the vote crate. So, if you guys go ahead and vote for the server on voting web websites then you guys can go ahead and get free items which is actually really good they also do have cosmetics that you guys can go ahead and get and it's basically like you can dress up on the server 
They also have some other cool features. If we head over to here, we could find ourselves the Pokemart where you guys can go ahead and buy and sell items. Just like that, typing in Warp Pokemart will bring you guys to here where you guys can buy basically just about anything that you want. You can buy and you can sell items. And then there's another thing that you can go ahead and do. You can also claim items there's also another thing I do want to mention is the claim tool that you do get. I find this to be very important. You don't want to be building without claims because, you know, we try to keep everything peaceful on these servers, but sometimes people don't want to. Typing in slash warp eggs, this will actually bring you to where you can actually hatch any of the Pokemon eggs that you have already, which is actually a really nice feature. So here is going to be a PC. You can get any egg that you have in there. And then you can go ahead and put them in this incubator, which they'll actually turn into actual Pokemon, which is actually really, really convenient. Typing in slash warp EV will bring you to the EV place where you can basically test out your EVs. Honestly, I'm not even sure what this does because I'm not a master of Pixelmon, but or just Pokemon in general. I never really played competitive Pokemon. And I feel like a lot of people fall into that same boat. Fun fact, did you know that Pixelmon's battle system isn't really game accurate, which is pretty interesting. If they actually recoded it, I believe they can go ahead and do it, but it is a little bit broken, so it can't really be used for competitive play by any means. Typing in slash gems will bring up a GUI like this so you can warp to any gem that you want it's actually pretty easy just go ahead and click on it and it's going to go ahead and warp you here so here is actually the rock type gem which i'm actually not strong enough to go ahead and defeat all right so that guy had a tyranitar that was pretty strong i'm not gonna lie we're not that strong yet but i do believe that these actually settle so I don't think they do scale to your level. So let's go ahead and try battling them. I'm going to go ahead and throw a Pokeball at it. And I don't think we could possibly like really try this. This is going to be crazy if we can defeat them. So I do believe that these do scale to your level. So let's go ahead and try attacking this thing again. And we just cleared some inventory space so we can go ahead and set a bunch of different rules. But let's go ahead and click on OK. And here is the battle. So we can basically select the Pokemon we want. Obviously, we don't really stand a chance here. We're going to pretty much die. So this is honestly not good. Like, I can't believe we would even think about sending this thing out. Honestly, Shuckle isn't the strongest Pokemon, but I don't really have faith in a level 18 Pokemon that I have here. Ekans is not that strong. So let's keep trying. This is not good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and switch into our next Pokemon and let's see what we can do. We could try using Tackle, but I don't think this is actually going to do much. So let's go ahead and send out our next Pokemon. And this may be a better shot. Let's see. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we don't stand a fighting chance at all. This is actually really, really bad. Let's try again. Okay, so I think this is pretty much it. So we just lost the battle. But as you can see, there is working gems just like that. So let's go ahead and do spawn. Going to start your adventure. It will spawn you into a pretty nice area. Not going to lie. But all my Pokemon are actually back. So I guess they get healed after the gym battle. Which is actually really nice of them. You know. To at least heal your Pokemon. But as you can see. Right. We are actually back here. And we can go into the Pixelmon world. Which is actually really cool. So this guy. I don't know what he was thinking, but you need to move. We can actually, uh, you know what? I'm not going to flex someone like that. You know, we're just going to fly past. But you can find different Pokemon in different biomes. That's the cool thing about Pixelmon, which I find to be really, really helpful. And I believe they do have biomes of plenty as well to actually spice up your survival experience, which is actually really nice. But again, this is pretty much the best Pixelmon server on Minecraft Java Edition. I'm super excited to go out and record on this. And maybe one day I'll go out and do a series. But I'll see you guys next time on the next video for Shape Replays. Bye.